of uh, a progress we made. No, but I can do that if you want. That's helpful. I think that would be helpful. Okay. Yeah, please. Sure. I should have asked you that when I got here. Yeah. Sorry. Just wanted to stave off for a measure. Sure, the lights help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. Oh, well, occupational hazard. I guess. There's some sunglasses on. That's what I thought. I might go get them. I don't know. Normally, if it was sunny out, I'd have had them on the top of my head, and I've given them oh. to them before. Uh, <laughs> I should be all right. Uh, Tylenol will kick in eventually. That'll be all right. <sighs> they give you, uh, did they ever give you anything strong? I've never gone to the doctor. My mother mm -hmm. gets them, too. I don't know what triggered it, but... Typically, if I don't eat lunch or something like that, it triggers it, but I... have my salad for lunch, and yeah, I usually do, so... In the bed. Who knows? Who knows? All right, well, while we're waiting for uh, for the printouts, uh, we need to. Uh, we're going to hear from George. Talk to us about um, the CIP and maybe pay room too. Yep. And then. Um, Work from there. See how much we can get down the alley. Right? I think other than that, maybe. We have an hour and a half, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do actually. Maybe the. Um, this isn't the right one, but we could do. Um, talk to George about. Um, with the highway department, I guess you pay them, and talk about the CIP list, um, and maybe finalize the fire department probably, and then probably pretty easy, I would think, for the most part. Yeah. That is... Let's see where we are from there, but... We're just waiting for obviously mm -hmm. Caroline to bring in the. Do you want to? You can come up to it if you want. Have a seat. And we'll talk about that. We're we'll talk about the CIP. Have the two items you have on that, and um, and then obviously okay, I'm going to find those sheets again. Shim coat across it, and it, you know, no, we're going to do some sections. 
myself. Yeah. We're just going to shim over a couple of those spots that are really getting bad, like coming down the hill towards uh, the bottom and all that stuff. Okay. So we're going to try to do that this, within the next week or so. We got extra money in the, we still got money in the paving budget, so. Okay. Uh, kind of two here and there will take care of a lot of that area. And with the roller, you'll be able to yeah. take care of all that. Huh? Yeah, that's good. So uh, that's we've been talking, we went and looked at it today, so we decided, you know, we, we've got to do something there because it's. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, it's, um, I think it's probably long overdue. It's, uh, I went down there to look well, last week, I think it was. Uh, or right after you said you wanted to fix that in the Sligo, I went down there, I went down again last week. Yeah, the roads are pretty rough shapes, so, yeah. in general. Um, uh, probably the worst of Well, it was just, you know, That's gravel and based over, it doesn't look like there's too much on top of it. It's like, you know, it's not built up to standard by any means. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's it's not a heavily. I shouldn't say it's not a heavily traveled. Road. There's a lot of traveling there, especially with the development coming. They're coming in and out. Right, but it's not the but most heavily. It's not problem. heavy truck traffic all the time, and mm -hmm. that's another thing that we ought to be talking about, but not now. I mean, is restricting the roads. Yep. I think that's something necessary. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think at the top of Sligo it says no, no commercial. Vehicles except for deliveries. Well, called deliveries, and I think you should do that on all your roads in town. Yeah. You know, there's no need of big trucks riding around these unless they have a delivery bay. I mean, Dover has that ordinance in town. Yeah. All right. Well, that's something we can think about. What we can talk about outside of the outside of this right now. But um, okay, so we're waiting on numbers for the for the paving budget. Right. What about um, but your CIP? Okay, so let's just preface that. We're waiting for, I should have started it this way. You're waiting on numbers. However, let me find it. I don't want to read the wrong number. Okay. We need to try, as best as we can, to live within uh, a certain amount. And where is it? Where are we paving? Sand and gravel. So we had, um, hmm. okay, so it looks like the proposed, was, is this based, hold on a second, this is, um, is it highlighted, so is it like a formula that, that, um. No, but I think it probably talks to maybe road surface management maybe is okay. why, I'm not sure why, or else um, it was because of the whole revised um, budget, budget presentation, maybe it's because of that. So in 2018 it was two, 325, and then um, we're looking at 350. We're going up by 25. Okay, so we need to we need to be cognizant of, of not, of course, we're not going over that amount, but if possible. Can you get hot dogs or not? Does every year, doesn't it? All right, so let's just let's keep that in mind. Please. We haven't gotten too far, so. <laughs> All right, so CIP, perfect time. Okay. <laughs> if you know that, you would have waited in the car a little longer. Exactly. All right, so. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. All right, so George, talk to us about the um, top kick, right? Isn't it the top kick? And the um, articulator mower. It's not, it, that, that's, it's not okay. a mower. Okay. It's a loader. Okay, a loader. It is still articulated? Yes. Okay. It's a mini articulating loader that fits on the sidewalks. Okay. Okay. It's a sidewalk machine, it's the articulating mini loader, which will come with a snow blower, a plow, and can be equipped with a sander to maintain the sidewalks after they plow. Okay. The other, uh, the other uh, uh, items that work with that machine would be the mower that we have that work with the new machine. And this, the forks that we have for the fork that will also fit on this machine. Okay. All right, that's good. To know. Is it a, um, is it a, um, um, a bobcat? Is it a it's different than a bobcat because it actually plays in the middle. Right, but is it that company so all the parts are interchangeable? or? Uh, no, they're, they're designed to work. Okay. It's, it's, you can interchange buckets on any make. 
Okay. All right. Well, that's and, good uh, enough. It's, it's not a skid steer, but it's an articulating. Well, okay. Good. So, but the parts are interchangeable. Yes. On, on those, okay. those parts are interchangeable. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Uh, there's more visibility with this unit. It's narrower, so it'll fit on most, if not all, our sidewalks. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the ability to put a sander on it to maintain okay. the sidewalk. So you're looking at. Uh, I got. Eighty thousand. I'm looking at right now. Is I got different options. Okay. The machine can be driven on the road better than the skid steer, so there's a lot less uh, wear and tear on the vehicle. Okay. The, and this machine can also be used to offset the use of the backhoe. Instead of running around the big backhoe to do work where we're not using the backhoe, this machine, you know, if we just need the front bucket and stuff like that, this machine can okay. be used for that to offset some of the usage and yeah. wear and tear on the backhoe. Uh, there's an option of buying the unit out one time payment of 77905 Okay, so $80,000. Will that include the sander? Yeah, that includes. Point, wait a minute. Point it. The articulator mower is up in the highway. You said bobcat skid loader. No. That's under transfer. No. The, the skid steer used to be under the highway department, and we're just keeping right. that machine. And I moved down to right. transfer. We're not doing nothing with that. But is it the same thing? It's a similar. Do you want both? It's That, that machine does not fit on a sidewalk. No, you didn't ask my question. Are you looking for both? Yes, keep that. Then don't say it's wrong because it's right on there. It's right here. This is something different. Yeah. See? What? Oh, I, no, I thought you said mower. He did. No. Articular. But, it, but it's not a mower. mower. What it's is a it? Loader. It's a loader. loader. Which one is? Loader. The new, both of them are loaders. Both of them are loaders. Yes. Great. Thank you. Okay, and then there's another option with this 77. 905, which I know there's probably no money to do it, but it's something I wouldn't throw out. That could be rented for $4,500 a month starting November for five months, and that would 100% of that would come off the total price of that machine. However, I know that's not there, but they, uh, they threw that out. The other options, the second option is the lease purchase machine, 24 months. At thirty-six hundred fourteen dollars a month. Hold on a second, George. Hold on. I think I got more pages than I thought. Yeah. All right. Hold on. So, how much? What was the number again, please? How many first, months? First option would be twenty-four months, one point four nine percent, at thirty-six fourteen a month, point oh four a month, at total of eighty-six thousand seven hundred thirty-six ninety-six. Mm -hmm. You go to the thirty-six months. Your payments would be twenty-four, sixty-four, fifty-three a month at two forty-nine, two point four nine interest, eighty-eight thousand seven hundred and twenty-three. Oh wait. Forty-eight months at three point four nine, nineteen oh eight a month. Point nine nineteen oh eight point nine three a month, ninety-one thousand six hundred and twenty-eight dollars and sixty-four cents. Or sixty months at four point four nine. Fifteen ninety-one point eight two a month. Ninety-five, five hundred nine, twenty. All right. This uh, first option, twenty-four months, would be two years. The painting machine's paid off. Mm -hmm. The uh, other than the dump truck, I don't see anything in the CIP for the highway department for twenty till twenty twenty-five. Mm -hmm. No, twenty twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Placing the roof. But Oh. That can change, though. That could change. Right. Yeah. All right. So, so that's the loader. The articulated loader. The loader. Okay. So it's for mainly for. Okay. I can note that. Put this on my page for now. That's if you want. Well, many pages? Right, so. 
we're all on the same page. All right, so it's 80,000. And, and how much do we anticipate the, um, the standing attachment would cost? That's, that's everything. That, that includes the that's sand? Oh. everything. That's the plow, all right. the blow-up, the sander, and of course the bucket comes with the machine. Plow, sander. That's got a summer and winter tire kit on it. The winter tires make the machine narrower to fit on the sidewalk. The wider ones are better for use. And Try it on around the rest of the year. Right. You'll be able to plow all the town sidewalks? 99% of them, unless there's some sidewalks that are less than four feet wide, which I don't know where those would be. They're not up to standards if they are. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. So. Um, but there'd be a flat cry more than what's being plowed now. And, so, so right now we don't. We can, only, do. we can only do certain sidewalks because the machine is over five feet. Um, we slide on the sidewalk most of the time when we try to. Yeah. Mostly the, the route to school, isn't it? For the most part. Yeah, that, try that, that stretch going up Locust Street is it's tight with that machine. Right. The sidewalks are just barely wide enough to keep the thing. You're falling off the curb most of the time on that street. So, what would become of the current machine that we have? The town already owns a skid steer. We're going to need the skid steer over the transfer station to do the bailing, and, and that machine is fine. So it would just be exclusively for the transfer station at that point. Right, and, Unless they, and that can do the snow removal and stuff at the transfer station and maintain that while they're... Okay. That sounds good. Okay. And, um, all right, so let's talk about, unless there's any other questions about the, the, the other loader for plowing. Yeah. Right. Anything good? Fine. Okay. Um, the top kick, is it a diesel truck? That is a diesel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I noticed we got to receive a letter on possibly getting a grant to eliminate, you know, to like fire pilot it for that truck. This truck is, I believe, that we get the emissions in it, so it probably would not qualify for that. It would not? I don't believe it would because it's, the motor is not newer than, the, I don't know what year that fire truck was, but it's got emissions in it. It was an 89. Yeah. yeah. It, may, it may be worth a shot in the dark. Uh, Point of the, the those grants is to get dirty or less clean right. diesel this off of them. Um, so. Then I think it's very doubtful that it would qualify. So, but we can, if you want to check, that's that's fine. So, what um? All right. So hundred. So have you have you started to price out trucks at all, yeah, or is this just I a have, guess? I have prices. Okay. That truck, new, equipped the way we want it, would be 165.5. 165.5. Okay. Will it continue to be a diesel vehicle? Or? It is a diesel, all-wheel drive, smaller version than a big dump truck. You would not be required to have a CDL license to operate it. Is the current is the top pick uh, currently require a CDL? No, nope, does not require a CDL. However, that truck was built like a big truck and was killing it. Okay. They put the 20 and a half, 22 inch tires on it. The truck was designed to have 19 and a half inch tires on it. They put a dump body on it, the size of a big dump truck. And it's the truck is the engine is not. Uh, Dover keeps telling us you're buying time, you know, keep buying time, but that's it's getting tired. I mean, it was scheduled to be replaced in last year's CIP, and I was tried a year. It's the truck has got it's no power. You've got to have a head start to make it up the hills, and of course, you're standing behind the truck at this time, and it makes it a tough time to make some of these hills. And what are we? What routes are we using this truck for, George? All the downtown, in town streets, because it's the, the smaller. You know, there is there is not a second. There is no need in town to buy a second big truck. Right. Full size dump truck. Mid size dump truck would do the job. And I think we could, if need be, even in the future, you can get away with mid size trucks. Mm -hmm. well. I mean, you need, it's nice to have the big truck when you're doing big jobs like hauling gravel and stuff like that. 
but this truck that we're looking at is built like a big truck, downsized mm -hmm. to keep it, to keep it under the weight category. Okay. So the truck is built for what it is, not built after the fact to do the job that it was supposed to do. Okay. I, know I have more questions, but there anyone else? There is a lease purchase on this also if you're interested in that. Sure, let's hear it. It's a seven-year lease program for $27,261.53 a year. Far too slow, George. One more time. What's the number? $27,261.53. Yep. And that's for seven years? Seven-year lease program. At the end of the seven years, we have an option to buy if we wanted to. In the seven years, you own it. Oh, you own it. Okay. So it's leased to own. Have you already figured it out? Oh, yeah. Okay, you're doing that though, right? So I don't have to get Which makes out. it 190, okay. 830, 71. You've already got it. Thank you. What's that, George? 191. 190, yeah. 830, 71. Okay. And we were thinking it was going to be 165. Five. Your interest rates are what kill you in these programs. Okay. However, without having any major purchases till 2025, you would be making two years payments on if you lease purchase both of them. First lease pay uh, for two years, you'd be paying seventy thousand six thirty or one. Mm -hmm. After two years, you'll just have the truck payment of twenty seven thousand. Two sixty one fifty three. Okay. Last question. Um, I guess the, uh, so the the twenty seven. How did, how would the twenty seven thousand work under a CIP? No, that doesn't really fit the the intent of the CIP. Right. right. Um, so we have to come out of an operating. And there are also other requirements on um, multi-year leases, too, in, in general. Um, it can be done. Like, so like, I'm looking at Caroline. So Caroline, in the past, we've done multi-year um, cruiser leases. Cruiser leases. It just depends on how it's, it's worded, right? You have to so. be careful with the wording at town meeting. Town meeting has to know and approve the idea that it's however, whatever the term is. Right. Um, but there, it may be that um, depending on the terms of the lease, if it was more appetizing to the board, you might be able to do two years or three years of the lease and then put a warrant article to buy it out and not have to pay the 190. It would bring it closer, you know, down to the total of what the original intent was. So, George, how about making this truck last another year? What are the... Um... It's like looking at the crystal ball. All right. So what have we done to the truck this year for maintenance, besides your normal... We lost the we turned on the hydraulic system, we brought it, brought it out, and we replaced that. So this was the... Okay, so this was the truck that we did that on. Okay, so how much... Approximately, do you remember how much that was? We actually did it in house. You did it in house, okay. Of so, course, so had hydraulic issues. What else has been wrong with this year? This year, we, I mean, it, it's not much more than that so far. I mean, so, uh, what, I'm trying to figure out why Dover saying that we're on borrowed time. The the engine's over, being overworked. Right. And, and, like they said, we can't tell you how long it's going to last. Right. And I can't tell you how long it's going to last. Right. So what happens if we lose this truck mid-winter or November 1st? I mean, we'll get our first snowstorm. We're going to another winter with it now. Right. So this is actually asking to buy two years with it. Right. It takes a year. To, it will take a year to. Actually, work. they they brought us a demonstrator last week, so they had one red and black too. <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, they said they probably had one on a lot. They, you know, they built some for stock. They don't, okay. build, they don't build them to always the specs you want, but this thing they can change on them to make it what you want. So it may, if, 
it would only then be a year. It wouldn't have to be two years if, if, if they have them in stock. If this is typically something they keep. Oh, we could have this truck the next one, did, but we definitely wouldn't have one. I mean, unless we took the stock model right now where they have one in, available, then, you know, but that's not happening until town meeting right. anyway. So. Right. right. But by waiting until town meeting to do this, right. in essence, right. you're asking for, and putting it off this year, you're asking for two more winters. Right. Without a crystal ball, I, know, I understand that. I'm just going by you know. You know, I know I built that truck myself this past winter and try and make up some of these hills. Is it's not you know. Did, did this the, so that this 2007 didn't last its normal lifespan, or is it? No, it's to, definitely not. No. I mean, the truck's only got 16,000 miles on it. Oh. You know, I mean, it's it's all hard. Hard miles. Yeah. You know, and, I mean, you're not going to get a lot of miles on a highway truck anyway. What's happening to them, they're riding out, and, you know, I mean, you're starting to see the rust on this truck, too. I I just figured if we get a chance to put it in for it, and if it passes, fine. Then, but I can't tell you how long it's going to last. Right. I, I came in last year, and I said, I want to see what the truck's going to do before we right. put it in, and... You know, and I, I know it's under, you know, it's underpowered for what it's designed for. Okay. All right. Well, do we have any other questions about this one? No. All right. And the same could go for the sidewalks. I mean, we have a skid seat, we can plow the major sidewalks, but, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, if we have sidewalks, they should be maintained. And the kids are walking within the streets to school. I mean, it's something that we should be looking at. Okay. All right. Any other questions for George? If not, uh, we're going to move on to so on another part of the budget then, George. Yeah, but thank you for the... Uh, was there anything else? Uh, so you're... Oh, actually, you don't know, while you're here. So you're looking then... Where does it say? Oh, no, that's 2021. Never mind. The Bobcat skid loader yeah. is until 2021. If this sidewalk machine is purchased... I cannot even see replacing that thing until it's necessary. Well, we're, we're, well so, so the, the, the idea and the goal uh, of, um, uh, of uh, having a CIP, the capital improvement plan, is to try to forecast out, right? Mm -hmm. So if we don't think that it would need to be replaced in 2020, what's that, 21, or was, we could push it off. And that's fine. But we want to make sure it stays on there. If that's going to be. Whatever else we think we need. That to is going to be the main unit, then you probably have to leave it on that, at, you know, if that could be used as a sidewalk and everything else, I'd leave it there. Okay. If, if this machine gets purchased, then that machine could be probably put out to 26, 27. You, can, you should be able to get that if you're just going to be using it around this transfer station. Okay. Well, that's good to know, sir. And that's why I say there should be no other major purchases until 25, when that international, and that's not even saying the international has to be replaced, but you're looking at the time frame. Right. I'm giving you some numbers. All right. All right. Thanks, George. Thank you. Uh, so, we should have a copy. Did he get a copy of yes. the new budget? The, a new copy of the working budget for the state together. There you go. Oh, oh, oh okay. So. And Caroline was kind enough also to add um, a new column for us, which is. G. Um, right? G. Not yet populated. Not yet populated, but 2019 default budget, so you can see that. The, um, the default budget will um, be identical, and to, the, uh, to this year's uh, approved budget, with the exceptions of um, contractual obligations. Um, so like for insurance, if there's increases in insurance, town is contractually obligated to, to meet those, um, and so, the, um, so the budget wouldn't be exactly the same as it is the current year's operating budget. So. And there are other places where it may actually go down, right, for, uh, um, let's see, um, was it, no, actually that would go up, I guess, the um, retirement system would have to go up. 
to meet the, to meet the, the current obligations. So all of those. There are occasions. Debt that service, that sort of thing. Yeah. All those things, would, 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 that would stay the same, but we would, would need to be in there. So I mean, anyway, just, so the column is there. But if, if your salaries don't go up, your retirement's not going to go up, you just have to fix the error that happened last Correct. year. Correct. Right. Right. And that okay. we can That's fix what I mean. within the default. Budget. Right. Okay. Yes. That's what I mean. So, so thank you for clarifying that. Things. But um, so anyway, so here's our uh, our cleaner version with um, sort of some notes still on there. Um, what we had talked about before we came into these time is it? When we have time was going to um, the fire department budget. changes that we need to make just for. Do you want to know what that does to payroll taxes? Yes, please. That's what I'm going to get there first. So payroll taxes is calculated on that and the chief line. Okay. Um, and the chief line is not changing. Right. Well, yeah. From so, the so, so you're going to keep it at 7283. And the reason I say that, I'm sorry, is because that's not what on what is on your sheet, only because I... So this is one of the things that I had told the board when we had started the budget process, which is that some of these lines calculate automatically. That right. was one of those lines that in previous years the board wanted that to increase with whatever the across the board is. Right. So while he put in for a level line, right. um, the, the spreadsheet is auto-calculating that to be the across the board. So would you like to override the calculator to make it level? I personally would, yes. I have a problem with him being the only one who's not going to get an increase in pay at the standard anyway, at the 3%. Yeah, I, I agree. The only reason I, I, um, I disagree, well, we haven't got the town clerk yet, but it's no 
elected position. It's not a it's not a, um, a town employee um, that we would normally give a three percent increase for. So. But have we agreed that we're going groups. to give everyone a three percent? I mean, I think that's another issue that we have not. Uh, okay, it's not been so discussed yet. It hasn't been discussed, so it's like it's kind of don't we have to go there first and then go here? We can if you want to. Yeah. Well, no, that's a decision behind everyone, but going through each one of the lines and basing it on what they're asking and not what we're save ourselves some time if we just decide what we're going to give them. Okay. Miles, what do you think? Um, so, talking about it all at once as opposed to piecemeal? Well, I'm just that? saying, what is our recommendation for pay yeah. raises for the all in town employees? What is the, the ATB? It's put in at 3% okay. only because that was the majority of the request. In fact, that was all the request that wasn't otherwise a specific dollar amount. So, I plugged 3% into the um, those calculated, auto-calculated lines. So it's one of the things, if you um, at home open up this, the worksheet, it's one of the things in the other um, tab. So you can change the percentage and it changes the associated lines, including payroll taxes. Right, so last year we gave a 2% to go down this road again, I want, it's got, it should be equal, it should be 2%. It shouldn't be one percentage for for one classification of employees and another classification of employees get different, an option for a different um, across the board. Or I, I agree with that. It we should be 2%. Should be percent. Saying one department's more worthy of another. Right. Um, Current inflation, 2.1%. 2018 inflation rate. Is, is what is? 2.1. Okay. So. I would say 2%. But. Um, it would be interesting, and I can do this on my, my own time, to see, well, add up all the salaries and see what a 0, 1, 2, or 3% represents. Is that total of ten thousand dollar increase to the budget budget and again I can so one thing that you can do if you you know I'll separately work on a spreadsheet that does that but you can go at home on the worksheet and go to the data tab and at the top of the data tab you can plug in different percentages for the across the board and then you can oh, okay. see what it does to the bottom line of the budget every oh, time you change it tell. That would pretty easily come up with that okay just note that there are some lines, like look at the equations for all of the salary lines to make sure that they're auto-calculated lines and not overwritten. Right, right. If you want a percentage though for, 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 for uh, sake of uh, moving forward and other lines yeah. in the budget, I would suggest 2%. I would across agree. the board. I would agree with 2%. Fire, police, all of them. Oh, sorry, fire. Um, not the same because they're asking for a market adjustment for this on call or whatever we're calling them. That's four for two percent? Yep. Yeah. Second two percent. No, it's not that. It's just that we do have what I thought was some money. If there are requests from individual departments for market adjustments, we 
we're going to take those up separately. But for departments that are just asking for a straight across the board, so I'm suggesting 2%. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. About no, that. you were clear. I'm just, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how this one is. I'm blind as a bat. So okay. second here. I'm not <laughs> so. sure how this one is being, I don't know if that's a market adjustment or if it's a request. In my mind, the, the request for is the same. So if it's a market adjustment that we're saying we want to give a market adjustment, or if an individual department is asking for a, just a lump sum, mm -hmm. we're going to deal with it the same way. We're going to talk about it in the same way. Okay. So in that case, for like say the, uh, the highway department, we'll, we'll be taking that up separately. Like we're going to take up the, the fire department on call uh, okay. folks. Okay. This is so the we don't have to do it that way, but I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. And then talk about what are going to support Talk about um, all right. So let's just say for sake of argument, it's the first page. Uh, uh, um, not the first page. Where's the tax collector? She's on the second page. Sorry. So this is where it says tax collector. That would be right, currently it's plugged in at three percent only because of Caroline put that we, in, yeah. in in the, the the majority of folks were asking for that. So mm -hmm. we would say two percent. And then go down to what's the next person? Janitor's wages. Two percent. Okay. Chief of police, two percent. Because apparently his his um his um Salary line, not apparently, but it is separate from the full time salaries, mm -hmm. which um, qualify for the three, he, He's asking for that 3% market, I mean, rather, um, merit pool. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, he lumped himself last year in that same market, mm -hmm. or rather, a merit pool, and got 3% as well. So, there's, we need to um, maybe discuss that as well. If we're going to be going forward and doing that, we need that the select board needs to be cognizant of it things like that happening. If we're going to allow for merit pools mm -hmm. to happen, then we would be the folks issuing the, the merit increase, not the person, not the department giving up the merit increases to the rest of the people in this department. So we would need to, we would need to approve that. So okay. that's something else we need to talk about. Um, so like the fire chief, if we want to say that he gets the 2%, the, 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 the that's fine. But so it would be the same for that. And then, well, it's, Attendance at the transfer station, mm -hmm. two percent increase. Um, although it looks like we're looking to um, increase um, hours potentially, so that may or may not. Uh, yeah, so that's not calculated. So that's anymore. not calculated in there. Thank you. But the payroll taxes remains yellow, which means the payroll taxes will automatically be calculated when we change okay. that way. And so on and so forth for the other wherever else that there hasn't been. Uh, an individual request for um, a lump sum or, or in some case of a market increase. To be honest though, the only thing that I can see for a market increase, um, in my mind, as a true market increase, is the on-call um, fire cars. That's, not, that's still the term we use, on-call? Or we use a different term? I still call them volunteer. I, I, well, I think I'm getting shut down at so home when I say that. <laughs> I'm sure you probably are. Mark said something. I can't remember if he said um, it on the call or not. Okay. But anyways, we know what three of us know what we're talking about when, when I say that. Yeah. Maybe an outdated term. So. Okay. Um, so, we'll go back to the original question. Are we comfortable at least plugging in for the sake of conversation a 2% increase for for across the boards for the town employees? We can go back and we, we will look for look to um, what 1% means. We know what a 0% means. A one, a two, and we can look at three as well. But I'm not yes. sure, given all the other um, yes, other um, increases. increases in the budget, that it will uh, will sustain more than a two percent. Mm -hmm. If it will even sustain that, so so we're going to go with two. So that's my long-winded way, Carolina. Saying, can you plug in two percent? Yes, I got that. that. Um, do you want to go through the lines and talk about where that hit and where it didn't hit? For 
example, you did a lot of changes to the executive section. The only place that would get the 2% is the budget committee secretary because you played with the other lines. Salaries will be. Well, so, so salaries is one thing. Like actual hourly wages is one thing. Budget lines is a different thing. Does that make sense? Okay, so um, let's look at what you did here. So for so I had suggested that based on Salme's current hours, mm -hmm. that you could bring her budget line down, down. if yeah. you hire more support. But that that I was not inferring that you shouldn't give her two percent necessarily. Okay. But I still think that there's enough room in that line that you can do whatever you're going to do with salaries and no. still bring the line. So down. that person would get that. So that yeah, line isn't have to right. right. So that line got okay. away from the calculator. Got it. Um, but the budget committee secretary, and when we get down to the planning board secretary, would those the ZBA, as well. they would get it. So yeah, if we didn't change those. finalize their budget, and then we'll go to the police. So the only other line, so there was the, the what, what I consider, and Mark considers the, the, the market adjustment to bring them just above the state minimum wage. Mm -hmm. um, that would be 51000 a year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the payroll taxes, what was the... Uh, well, before I tell you the payroll taxes, are we going to keep the chief's line oh, level, you. or is that going to be 2%? I'm willing to honor the chief's request of keeping it level. I'm just, can I make a point, just a clarification? Don't forget, he now gets his calls as well, mm -hmm. on top of that. Okay. Which he, that started last year. All right, so he gets money he gets out of the... He gets his salary for being a fire chief, and he's also part of the call, the, call, okay. the calls, if he makes it, oh. and that calculation of the calls. So he does get, okay. he's part of that 51. So I'm definitely Just make fine sure. keeping it level in that light. And he hadn't been... Last year was the first year. Yep. All right, so again, I would suggest we keep it level. So it's 72, 83, not for the 2% there. Okay, so payroll taxes in that department. Are forty four fifty nine. Fifty nine versus thirty eight oh four. What was his salary again? Seventy two eighty three. Thank you. So it would be the same as the previous. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we that those two three changes. Everything else though, with the exception of uh, radios. We can go there in just a moment. All right, so radio. Where's the camera in here? He wants a new line created for um, radio equipment, right? Where is that? Yes. Combining so radio, combining two lines, he said. Which two lines was that? Um, he has a radio. What was the next line? It's radio repair. He needs something to besides that. So he has an equipment line too, but I'm, I don't think. Oh, so he's got equipment repairs and radio repairs. Mm -hmm. I would think oh, radio okay. repair could be one. So, of them. so it's radio equipment. Total of fifteen thousand. This is to be used to meet the MOU between Dover and Rollins for, for the equipment on Garrison Hill. Is that three-year purchase agreement. The radio for repair wouldn't be that. No, that's repairing the radios. Yes. That, right. That, no, no, what I'm saying is he wants a, a new line called radio equipment. Okay. And, and where is it right now in here? It's not. It doesn't oh, exist. Oh, it's not he wants here a new all. line for radio equipment, total of 15000 yep. and used to meet the MOU. Um, and to uh, the rest will be to purchase uh, three, he believes. Um, what was it, five? Five? New, ra new radio for, um, for this year for one of the trucks. Remember, the radios are... Um, is he getting rid of the radio repair line, or is it just one new line at 15? One new line called radio equipment. 
Okay, but are we getting rid of radio repair? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. to replace the radio that we received as part of a Homeland Security grant after 9-11. Mm -hmm. So the radios are, uh, have been around for a while. Mm -hmm. And they are no longer um, repairable. So we need to start updating the radios for the fire department. So that's what that new line represents. Do you have it plugged in now? Yes. And how much was it again? 15000 But he also has radios on his CIP as well, so remember that. Correct. Okay. Do you know what the MOU part of that is? I do. It is... That's three years of payments, right? Correct. Each payment is $4,451.54. Okay, so he's using 10000 to buy radios. Okay. Which I think... There's three of them, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. There's six. Mm -hmm. I added the MOU amount in the, in the, in the notes, so you'll have it. Yeah. No, I think it's... Three? It's, I think it's three. Think it's it's about 3,000 for each yeah. rating. Okay. All right. So that's what that new line will represent. Okay, and that's plugged in now. So we need another updated copy of this. But, yes. All right. So with that new addition... edits or reductions that we want to make to the fire department for lines. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Caroline, what's the uh, the new bottom line for the fire department if we don't uh, we don't make any other changes. Just a moment. Thank you. Um, $135,453. Is there a reason that we wouldn't put all of the radios in the CIP? Take the well, he's in, he's in trouble now is the bottom line, is he needed to get something right, right away. Where CIP... Right. Well, if you were choosing, funding. unless you were going to do a warrant article for all of them now, if that's right. what you mean. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Why wouldn't we buy all, put them all in the CIP and not hit the other budget? Well, he has some. Gonna, he yeah. has some in the... What am I saying? Yeah. Yeah. Some. Some at, for each year. Um, but in this next year... Radio is 65000 That's, he's hoping, uh, which is one of his number one, and that represents a place of 15 or in the CIP. Differentiation between these three radios and the other. No, just that, that they aware. have some that are just, they're so bad that they can't even get them repaired. And they're all in the same age group. They're all yeah. they're bought at the same time. So yeah. he's just looking to get some, I think, probably for each one, maybe one for each truck. I'm not sure which one, you know, but he needed them just because he wanted to they're outfit one truck right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. And the, there's the there's the um, possibility that the warrant article doesn't pass. Okay. So then he doesn't get any new radios. I gotcha. And, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. They can't communicate with one another. So, which not, would not be a good thing, I wouldn't think. 
So, and I'm sorry to ask this question again. Oh, go ahead. Equipment, do we, what does that represent? I, I know that we talked about it before. It's just the only thing that sticks out as something that's. No, he has a separate no, uniform no, line. There's um, some of the things he comes in and talks about on the equipment. Um, there are you know, several lines of medical supplies. I don't forget, first aid supplies are separate. So. Um, Chainsaws. Yeah, the phone so that he has to buy every once in a while for for okay. um, spills. Has, spills, hazardous materials, materials spills, stuff. things like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean that's kind of it's the it's not big equipment. It's more of the handheld. Uh, you know, if they okay. break a an axe. Um, an axe or you know, I mean they have to replace those things. Okay. And typically, he tries to. Um, hold off on any purchases towards the end of the year. So, right. so when you see lines like for uniform equipment like that, they try to hold off as long as they can. The, fire, the police department does the same thing. So, uh, we bought ammunition last week. Um, anyway, are there any other um, any other places you'd like to suggest cuts or increases? In the fire department. Ready to approve the fire department budget then for those with the bottom line of 135, 453. All right, so that's fire department's job. Go back to the police department then. Starts on page. Right before it, yeah. Are we stopping at 7? Oh, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, All right. So what we've said was two percent for for um, salaries, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to make those changes if you haven't already gone. So, so the chief's line calculated automatically. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to change the full-time salary line because it's calculating at. Actually, it's not calculating. I overwrote the calculator to make it 3% of what the actual budgets were, um, rather than um, what, what the actual salaries were, rather than whatever the 3% increase allowed all of them to get, if you understand my difference. They didn't all but get 3%. But it's 2.3, so you're really close. So it's 2.3%. It's, 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 yeah, it's, really it's really close. It's really close. But I can tweak that number. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And you'll do the, the cheese as well. The chief's already recalculated it. That's 53,321. 53. 321. 321, thank you. Um, the part-time salaries is not in the calculator. So that's a level amount unless you want me to change it. But I don't know whether that means he's recommending or not recommending pay increases for those people. He doesn't um, typically come... Well, actually, last year he came pretty close to spending it. So I don't know what his intent is with those salaries. It looks like he's asked for a different appropriation in the last three years. So. But it could be staffing reasons and not necessarily that he's not going to give it to him. Right. Right. No, 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 yeah. So he's asked for $30,480 <coughs> for the last three years. So. I think we should ask him if his intent was, because I think if they're employees, they should be getting what everyone else is. If you can make it within that. Okay, so we'll hold that then. We'll ask him about that. So over time, it shouldn't need to change then. Um, contracted services we talked about uh, with him. Um, he seems to think that um, that um, 40000 is a more realistic number. What are folks thinking? Folks thought 60000 was more realistic talking to him last year, and um, we haven't come close to that. So I'm, we have to raise this by taxation. So it's nice to have the offsetting revenue, but. Then you're in trouble if you're counting on that offsetting revenue. So I would go with his suggestion. Yeah. I mean, the 40000 is closer to the 2017. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it is. I think that that's a 
more realistic number. And you, you're okay with that, too, please? Mm -hmm. All right, well, then we'll keep that at 40, then, for now. And the payroll taxes will have to change, obviously, when you recalculate for the... Uh, and retirement. And retirement, yeah. So we probably won't be able to finalize the police tonight. Yeah. Big pieces we can take care of. Um, the chief talked to us about uniforms. The need to keep it where it is. Mm -hmm. um, professional development. He seems comfortable where it is. Um, yeah, so that's fine. Uh, conference and dues. He was fine with that. Dispatch, he thought, might be able to go down, actually, didn't it? What was the, um, he came and talked to us the other night. What do you think, uh, where is it? No, isn't that the one that he said that they were going to go up because instead of getting these discounts, that, that they were going to just go and pay the rate? Yeah, but then so he heard that there might be another discount. drastically lower than 10,000, so that he did say it might be lower. So what is his request? That's not level, is it? No, he's at 36 to 10. Any other changes in the police budget that we want to entertain? No. Alright, so. You did the town clerk over here. You did? So we did. Yep. Yeah, we. It was really just info system that we put back to six. We're not going to go forward with the. Uh, so, William Booth, we all agreed. We had a question on why she was budgeting 700 and not what it costs. Somewhere closer to. Yeah. But, we'll start back at the beginning then. Should change then to a. Uh, did you change that to two percent? Um, it's not. Sorry, bear with me a sec. Yes, it's with the ATP, so it's a two percent. Okay. So that's twenty-five thousand thirteen dollars. Oh, sorry. Slow. Say that again. Twenty-five what? Twenty-five thousand thirteen dollars. So it's $1,944, which is down 1.2%, but it's calculating off of the three lines it needs to calculate off of, so I'll believe it. Um, I, because the other line, what those lines were previously, the payroll taxes in previous years, were not calculating. So I'm not sure where those numbers came from, but 1944 should work with payroll taxes. Because you reduce the uh, Oh, right, there you go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stipend stays, the clerk, the ballot clerks are uh, based off of the number of elections. Now the, the printing, that is, that's increases because of what we're anticipating it, the ballot to be Correct. long Correct. and multiple. Okay. The clerk, um, 
based on the experience of um, the town of Newfield, I think we should talk to. They're similar in size mm -hmm. and um, relative size, of what she believes, of, of the ballot, the way it was described to her by the town clerk over there, with the changes um, from SP, changing over to the SB2 system yeah. will increase it to about $35,000. Uh, $3,500. $3,500. <laughs> Not quite that dramatic. Mm -hmm. So um, it's about a $800 increase so, for, for the town election. Um, so that does, shouldn't need to change. That was actually based on, mm -hmm. on the estimate that you get from, um, from the, the company that produces them and the uh, shared experience with the community our size. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the best information she had possible. So. Um, Though that there was anything else, there's the um, obviously the lunches line changes based on the number of elections we have. Mm -hmm. um, the only other thing that Miles just brought up was the voting booth. Um, she seems to think that she can get one. Was it for 700? Is that what mm -hmm. it was? But it costs in 2018. The one she got was 946. So Do, does anybody have in front of them the 925? The request, like her printed yeah, request. Um, or she revised Because it. I'm not sure, I don't know, you know, just did it. that, yeah, did that get entered properly? Because, um, I know, section minus the uh, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on um, we're not waiting on anything for this, right? There wasn't anything else standing, right? Okay. Are we ready to accept this one then with the uh, salary changes? What was the new total? Um, oh, thank you. That's okay. Sure. Just a moment. Thirty-four thousand eight twenty-eight. That's a slight reduction. There. Financial administration, we already handled that one, right? We didn't. Uh, there's a new total. There's a new total with the. Yeah, the total is 39,000. Hold on. Sorry. 39, yeah? 855. A slight reduction there. Let's go to 2%. What's the. Um, the tax taxes part? are 1766. 1766. And the um, tax collector line? 2489. Reduction there. Where am I going to next? Reevaluation. Have we got the um, information from them yet? Um, no, and it's not about. In, it's not about information from them. It's about. I need to look at, the look at their contract. Okay. Okay, okay. So now, what time is it? We've got plenty of time. Personnel administration, health insurance. So we. We um, were slated to change the um, the employee health insurance plan, which is probably right in front of 
before I start digging out. Um, from the AB10 to the AB20 plan. That's what's currently plugged in. So what you're looking oh, at in the screen, I, she, I printed for you tonight reflects those numbers based on your It does, okay. Yes. All right, that's fine. Okay, and folks are still comfortable with that, with that change? Stay with that then. Uh, life and disability. That's the um, the actual number is plugged in there now. There's no change for that. Um, that's going to have to change. Okay. That that's a direct reflection on um, it's um, wages times what category of employment they're at. So okay. as wages go up or you add people, that number is going to go up. So, okay, so it's on my list of I need to. Okay, so we'll hold off on that. And workers' comp also. We got um, new numbers, right? That's, uh, workers' comp and um, the three from Primex, workers' comp, property liability, and um, unemployment are all actuals. Okay, so we'll, we'll hold off on those then. So they're all in there correctly. They are in here, currently are in here correctly? Yes. Okay. Yes. But the only thing is life and disability that work. Correct. Okay. All right. So health is good. AFLAC is, uh, doesn't cost us anything? Correct. Okay. And unemployment is good. Workers' comp is good. Mm -hmm. Paycheck services? Um, I would increase that. I don't have a quote to base it on, except to say they do some kind of in nominal quote unquote increase every year, okay. not until halfway through the year. Okay, um, so in 2019, let's see, it's about, about 600. 2018, it looks like it was, uh, well, we haven't finished the year yet. So, so you've got 46.65 spent through third quarter. Right. Um, the expenses are higher than normal for the year because of the uh, retirement adjustment that happened at the beginning of the year, which is why the line got re-budgeted. Um, okay. So um, probably around five thousand dollars should be okay. okay. Change that to five thousand. Background checks is sufficient. Training is sufficient. Um, background checks is forty-seven dollars times however new and many new people you think you're gonna hire. Thinking about rec and you have a new transfer station crew, but rec they are hoping to hire a lot of the same people. Mm -hmm. So okay. you, you could have that. probably two that with the directors. Right. So you've got Possibly. a police officer. So if right. you're going to hire two for rec and one for police, you've got $150 right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Employee safety. We're, uh, we're good there. Mm -hmm. And uh, dental benefits, we're going to leave there and off and uh, reach out again to the uh, employees. If there's... Um, and we have a new officer, potentially. Not until we have a new officer. Right. Nothing's going to change. But we're going to keep the line there. Yeah, the dollar is good, yes. So at least it can be offered. Okay. Yes. And then the uh, termination payment insurance adjustments. Um, I, I highly suggest that you keep that because you never know. Right. What? Can you explain to me what exactly that is? When um, people leave employment here, they are entitled to their vacation at their currently hourly wage if they have any on the books. Plus, 10 days of sick leave, however, we have, the, the 10 days of sick leave is really a lot more sick leave than that because that was a change in the personnel policy that happened two or three years ago. So new employees can only be paid on, no, actually I take that back, I'm sorry, 10 days of, of sick for grandfathered employees and now the personnel policy says that you don't get paid out on sick, but some people were grandfathered. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to pay that out at any time. So that's not necessary termination as much as it could be someone leave. Leave. Leave, leave oh, okay. payments, yeah. Okay. But but not to be confused with somebody, you know, goes on, you know, family medical yeah, leave but, or, or something. But if someone decides to leave our employment, 
this is part yes. of that. I don't right. think termination was meant to mean right, but or firing. Yeah, yes. separation. Just separation. Separation. Oh, a nice so way to put it. We should call it separation. Yeah. So if you don't, yeah, I can call it separation. Of it. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. I just was confused by right, the so We're going to have um, potentially. Have, well, well, we will have one. One. You'll have this one this year, year and so. then you have. Um, you have, so, you, you have another officer who qualifies for qualifies retirement. Next year, mm -hmm. so. And then anybody else who right. has stuff on the books who just leaves. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure we're prepared for that. Yeah. So. Okay. But besides that, um, we're just waiting on the um, on life and disability insurance. So why don't we hold that open then? Um, we will not um, we will not finalize that section. But the biggest section, biggest thing was the health insurance mm -hmm. that we discussed on Saturday. So there will be a, a slight so reduction in the um, increase mm -hmm. that we're still going to experience. Mm -hmm. So if the board is feeling firm on that when you get into your regular meeting, I'd like a motion about that so that I can move ahead and schedule a meeting with Health Trust and notify employees. Mm -hmm. And you can come in and learn about any changes. Mm -hmm. sure. Makes sense. Zoning. I think we can do that one mm -hmm. real quick. I don't think there was so planning secretarial and zoning secretarial. Should we change two percent? Um, I'm looking for a market adjustment on that one. I was asking for a market adjustment for her. Um, for okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. So I can tell you what the lines are with the two percent, but I don't think it's going to cover. Um, if you're going to do that. Okay. Um, though it's close. There have been more um, cases in, um, in recent, I, I don't know about planning, but zoning is more active right. than it used to be. Right. Um, the zoning secretary handles all of them, notification, all of them. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she creates agendas. Right, and she's, so. Mm -hmm. And she looks. She does research too. For so it should have been research. really it should have been changed years ago. So, mm -hmm. so um, I was going to um, calculate planning hours, and I, I just haven't. All right. So uh, I misspoke. Then apparently, planning and zoning is not a, the easy one. I thought it was to take care of the government well, building. Certainly isn't. So, let's see. so, so l let me just say, you you have um, you you did. You did um, create a line reimbursable services for five thousand dollars. You're seeing that because that's yep. a new line. Yeah. So um, with a note, approximately thousand dollars per project. So we can run all of the engineering services. Right. 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 Through the That'd town. Be great. Yeah. Right. That would be good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back and do this at planning and zoning when we figure out the. Uh, we'll talk about that. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And. Cemeteries we've already resolved. Mm -hmm. Insurance, that's the property and liability insurance. Is this, is this ready for prime time or do we need to change the number? Those are in there. Are we ready to accept the property and liability insurance the line? 29 through 60 is the number. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get there. 29 through 60 is correct. Okay. Any objection to mm -hmm. accepting that? All right, we've accepted that one then. Regional associations. This, um, um, the actual number represents the, uh, the It does increase. include an increase to um, Stratford Regional. Stratford Regional. Um, I don't have a new number for Municipal Association. Okay, but, yeah. So I'm sure Great. everything will go up nominally. So I will um, reach out to... Ooh, okay, so we got not know where to do that one. Have.
some reason, we will um, reopen it and get to our select board agenda. We're going to recess the uh, workshop, pardon me, and um, reopen it if we get through the agenda quickly and we feel like we have a little more steam mm -hmm. in our tank. If not, we will be back at 6 o'clock next Monday. Okay, so I'll be here at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Do you, I have, I'm staying here for welfare, but do you want me to stay here for... I think once we get budget. through our department of business, we'll know how quickly we're going to be leaving or not. Because the rest of it will be... This town administration report is going to be very quick. But you'll be the last thing under the department head for welfare, so... Then we'll know how much time is. Right. How's that for an answer? Okay. okay. Seven thirty, rather. All right. Call to order the regularly scheduled uh, select board meeting of October twenty second. First order of business is approval of minutes for October fifteenth. Were there any edits? No. I didn't see any added earlier. If not, we will approve by consensus. Committee input. A full crowd tonight. Jody, come on. So, you, you ran my room 
City Public Works Director and saw him in the waiting room. When you had a conversation about his land? I did talk to him about it, yes. Okay. And this board does not know about it? Uh, this board wasn't, uh, uh, Miles wasn't here for sure. I don't know, Denise, were you I didn't on know. the board at that point? No. I think okay. you might have been, yeah. Okay. At any time did this board discuss the brothers' land? I think so. Okay. We'll give Caroline the authority to send via email a variance form. A what now? A variance form. For the for the Z, to, to go to the ZBA? Yes. Um, I don't know. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why are we answering questions about her brother? Why isn't her brother here asking the questions? I don't He's know. He's no longer a resident. I don't, I don't know. I, last time I heard Jody, he was going to go to the ZBA and ask for a variance. He had talked to him. That's where I thought we were. Yep. Well, that's what was discussed yeah. because so I was there with Mr. Clark. sent a variance form. Okay. Plans have never even been submitted. But as part of the, the, the planning process... You can't have a variance unless you have a plan to go by. He hasn't even put in a building permit. He needed to, um, as part of the you can deny subdivision, the and then send it to the planning board. As part of the subdivision process, I'm trying to remember what it said on, on the on the form. It said that um, Miles, you were yeah. the chair. You're going to jump in. I'm trying to you sign it. I don't remember. Part of the list of conditions were to bring the road up to town standard, and he was going to. Okay. Right. <clears throat> or, well, there's no reason for a variance for that. Well, no, but the, 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 the form said he could either bring up to, yep. to class 5 standards or go to the ZBA and get a variance yes. from that. And that's what we thought he was doing because he didn't want to do it to class 5 standards. That was the last no conversation we had with him. Standards. I'm sorry? He had no problem going to a class 5 standard. Then, then My question is, why is your, what, first off, it's coming from the town secretary, not the planning board, but the zoning board. Second off, why is it being sent before a building permit is even submitted? First, you've got to deny a building permit to get a zoning variance. He needed a, a he variance needed. from the zoning board on on uh, building on a class six road, and there was something else, Miles. There was two different sections to it on the, for the variance. I don't have it in front of me, Jody. I, I don't I know, but, but but he was how last how time I heard that's he what he was going to try to do. He didn't have to do anything. He could have brought up to class five. Of course he could have. Yes. Why is the town, who gave authorization to these employees to do these actions? To what? To, he asked for the variance. He form. did not ask for a variance. He spoke with, the, with the, the building inspector, and so that's why he was sent to him. No, he did not. He did speak with the building inspector. Oh. I spoke with the building inspector afterwards. What? You said successfully have that land now sold to a developer. Okay, well, so, that's his right to sell it, but I don't want you to say that I drove your brother out of town. I was trying to help him. I didn't want him to have to go to the expense of bringing it up to Class 5 standards. So I said, if you want to do it, you should go get the variance for the ZBA. It would have been a lot easier, cleaner, and less expensive for him. He didn't have to sell his property. No one's required to sell their property. Yeah, after four years of fighting, yeah, you get kind of burnt up. Well, I can so, appreciate that, but I... But I also want you to know... When the developer does bring it up to a class five standard, there is a culvert in there that is packed in. Mm -hmm. So the Vanuverses are going to get more wetlands because okay. it's been packed in for many, many years. I think your brother mentioned that to me. Yes. So no one's going to be happy about that. I can't imagine, no. So we took something that was very simple. All we had to do was subdivide land. But, but it wasn't as simple. And if it was that simple, it would have been done. It was because it was on a class six road. Oh, there were, it's there still were, simple. There's still there's, laws. My quest, my point is, we took something that was not personal, and you made it very personal for me. I never 
tried to make this personal to you. I, uh, if you feel that way, I do apologize. But I certainly Am never I? tried to do that to your brother or sister. And Miles, you were the chair at the time. And you had actually said, I'm only a volunteer here. And Megan said, well, get going on what you need to know. I appreciate you stepping in this year. And I know it's hard. I, it's very, very hard. So I do appreciate you stepping in this year. And I'm sure you're trying to do a lot of catch up. And budget season is the worst. It's the absolute worst. But I, I, I want you to know what we've done. We've spent over $7,000 in lawyer fees to drive a resident a good resident out of town that had highway skills, water skills that could have helped us. So, I'm very so, sorry that you feel that. I just want you to know that. Well, thank you for that. So, thanks. Is there any other committee input? Discuss Scott Spatial Commission, Carol? Uh, this is not on the regular agenda. Yes, yeah, it's gone. I can now do earlier today Yes. I sent you the proposal from the forester, right. the map, and the minutes for the meeting where we approved yes. the disbursement of the funds. Did we get the, is it in our folder? It design? is in your folder. That's oh. right on the So why don't you, so everyone's aware of so what, what happened last previously. Last year, the previous Conservation Commission had retained Charlie Moreno to begin the invasive plant project. Is basically removing bittersweet and buckthorn from the south. Um, basically, paid a fair amount of money to have it logged a year or two ago, and it would be a shame to let these invasive plants take over the forest. So, we agreed, the new board agreed that we would speak with Mr. Moreno again and see what you know we should do to not let it fall too far behind. And he actually said that he would be able to do another round this fall. To complete the project with a crew of professionals who can do it. So we're, we're not we're not changing anything about who's going to do it or the way they did it or anything. We're satisfied with how it was done previously. We're just going to continue with that process. Okay. The goal being that when it's done, we're going to take that map that we made and kind of grid it out and into those small pieces and try to create some kind of a back to spot where we might be able to teach residents what to look for and then maybe okay. they adopt a little. Expenditure up to was it thirty five hundred yeah. for the second half of the yeah. the project. So you're authorized to do that. Um, so we don't know, we, we don't really, we're not here to approve whether or not they can mm -hmm. spend the money within their account or, or manage the, yeah. the town forest conservation area the way they, they they see fit. We have to though. They're not authorized to enter into contracts, so the select board has to do that. That's why. <laughs> it seems kind of crazy that they're allowed to spend money, but they're not allowed to enter into contracts. So, I mean, I guess if they didn't need a contract, they could just do it. But, so, um, what would be good is, um, let me take a look at more, um, a motion to um, approve the contract with um, Charles Moreno, uh, Forester, for the removal of invasive species of the scout land for up to $3,500. I'll make a motion. Okay. All right. Can I just ask you, course, did you yeah. did you see Warren's comments? Did, is it at all? Yeah. So we don't we don't we we don't have officially a separate. We have somebody who's been taking it. Mm -hmm. I would make sure that we would. Uh, she may have that in her notes. She may not. Okay. I actually took notes the last minute because she wasn't there. I didn't know it also. So okay. next meeting it would right. be there. Everything we voted on so far has been unanimous. So okay. had there been any dissent, I'm sure that would have into the minutes even okay. without her putting exactly mm -hmm. who did it. But going forward. And I will see if I can get that for those minutes and we can, we can amend those. Okay. And there was an issue around the W9, Caroline, you'll handle that. You guys have a new one in class. Yeah. Okay, but you'll handle it. Yeah. 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 And I just suggest that you come in directly. Yes, I can do that. that. Yeah. Okay. okay, perfect. So, there are any other questions or comments? Yeah. There's a motion on the table. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Is that on you for me? On this matter? I think so. Okay. Go forth and remove a basic. Well, who, 
am I going to do with this? Yeah, just, just yeah. put it back in the folder. <laughs> you can be my conduit. I don't have to put it back in the folder. Just give it to Miles. Thank you. That. Okay, perfect. Thank right. you very much. Any other community? Thanks, guys. Um, uh, input? Thank you. Cynthia so, yeah, Leopold had her hand up, but she left. So I guess we'll wait till the end of the meeting. Um, department heads, building inspector. He's not here, but just to um, uh, let everyone know, the um, junkyard public hearing again is on November 5th. So we're going to let the... Um, the uh, owners know, it's and, gone the, out and the abutters right know, there, and I, I contacted know. legal counsel as I was requested to last week, um, or authorized to last week, and he responded that um, he'll wait to hear whether or not we want him there or not. And what time is that? Six, Six o'clock. Okay. Fire department. Quick and dirty. Quick and dirty, huh? Yeah. How about just quick? <laughs> Oh, okay. Just, I just want to update you on that here. I know it's not a meeting in one title. It's um, the Lavin yes. assessment thing. Yep. We were just up there tonight trying to establish everything that was going on. He does have a standpipe for the pond, which is located there. Yep. But the standpipe is not It's out of service. Okay. What we did is our pro our, we wanted to backflow it into the pond to make sure we get something bubble and see if that was flowing. Right. As soon as we did that and it goes down, there's going to be an elbow under the ground where it's pavement starts bubbling up around there. Oh. So we didn't apply any pressure to it. Right. As soon as we started seeing water and dirt come back up, that's it, shut it down. Right. So I don't know if we can produce any kind of maintenance records or anything, but as right. far as applying that towards one of the uh, components to his assessment, I think the OS is out of service. It's nothing okay. that we could ever utilize. Okay, so we'll let the we'll let Avatar know that. Yep. They are down now. Uh, the engine company's down right next to the pond. We're just going to draft out of that. Okay, can you, can you draft out of it if you need yeah. it to? Okay. We can, yeah. But that pond is located an awful way, uh, it's close to 500 feet away from the residence. Right. So it's not like right next to it, so it's right. still a logistical nightmare to use that pond to use for fire suppression. Right. It doesn't buy him an awful, it doesn't buy us or him an awful lot because it's, it's remote to the residence. Right, right. So um, just some of the things I wanted you to know when it comes to talking to the Assessment. If you had to use it, though, it, would it just benefit his property, or would it actually be beneficial to the properties around it? It's well, so far it, back you now. It is a long way back. I think you use it as a water source. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, it's the not a huge pond. I don't know how much it holds. Right. Um, I think we could use that as one point for the water supply. It's okay. Be the only one, but we could set that up and leave one truck there and use it for filling. Okay. Providing he doesn't have an issue with that. Is that his actual pond on his property? He may say, no, it's only for me. It is on his property. Well, it, but it's, it's on his property, but it was designed to be public access. Right, it was. Except back in Brownie's day, yes. That was, the, that was approved based on that pond being there for fire suppression. That development. There's no hydrants down there, so. Okay, the development itself was. The right. development okay. itself, yeah. he wanted a pond. Oh, I yeah. thought it was Harry, but Harry said no, it was, it was Brownie when so it's quite a while ago. Kevin told me that he knew that standpipe existed yeah. 30 years ago. Yeah, I did too. So yeah. probably never been any any maintenance done to it whatsoever. So if he wants to dig it up, put it back in service, great. We'll go back and, and work That's with it. Right, yeah. it. right now, that should not even be a consideration okay. in any of that uh, reassessment. Okay. Well, we will uh, we'll let them know. And um, as far as the Oak Street MOU, you had mentioned that you were going to you were going to speak with the new chief. Chief Brawl, I haven't yeah. been able so, yeah. okay. All right, that's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll table that then. Okay. All right? Yeah. Perfect. And that's all that I got. Perfect. Anything for the Chief? Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for checking that out. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Well, I wanted to get that quickly as we discussed it last week. I didn't want to yeah, crack that out any more. didn't want the weather to change and have to crack ice to get to it. So, we well, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Highway Trust Department.
these standards, and that'll be a little bit sometime this week. He was hoping we install this week. We still got to have a wired, but that's going to happen. I just want to give you a heads up on that. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate that. The uh, Skid Steel was in Bobcat last week. They found a few other things, so there's good. Uh, I don't want to upgrade this. I don't, I don't have the bill yet. He said it's going to be about another $500. Okay. Out of vehicle maintenance. So I don't know if you want to just want me to do a new purchase order to add that. Or we, just, we can amend it, can we? We can amend it. He says it's going to be around 4100 so. Uh, not exactly sure of the final figure, but it's, you said you know, they found some cold travel going in side the engine compartment when they were taking the bumbo. Okay, why don't we do a motion then? Up to 4100 you said? Uh, he's probably close to, I know, 40 minutes up to 20, 40, 20 dollars. Up to 42 then? Uh, this is something that we'd already approved, Yeah, correct? so yeah. we're, um, we're going to amend purchase order 1427. All right, I'll amend purchase order 4227 to be $4,200. Second time. So, uh, motion has been made and seconded to um, update purchase order of 1427 to reflect the dollar amount of up to 4200. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Mr. Bobcat of New Hampshire. Bobcat of New Hampshire, that's probably helpful to us in some way. Bobcat, it is. here from what I found when we were up there to fix this last week 
is apparently that was the existing parking lot when they built this fire station. And they, yeah. and they just, yeah. they only cut out two feet of that, and, and where the station sits, they cut out two feet on it, because I noticed there's two, the parking lot's two behind the fire station mm -hmm. that they have no access to. Mm -hmm. The hot top is still there. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they used the existing parking lot, which was probably not built up to hold 50,000 pound trucks. Probably not. Right. Because there's no gravel under that, like there is the roads in town. <laughs> yep. And uh, what we did is we dug it down, and we added some gravel in there, so we we stabilize it as well as we can. Uh, don't know what the rest of it's going to look like if they decide to, but I suggest to Mark we're going to put the base coat in this year. And if he can find some money in his budget, we can probably do some more next year and continue it along or overlay the whole time. And so that's, you know, I told him he can look at that, those numbers to see what he can come up with. Or else we'll just overlay that section next year and match it to the rest of it. But we made so we, it's not going to be an obstruction for plowing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was in pretty rough shape. So when we get into it, it was, like I said, was just regular sand and no gravel and stuff in there. So it's not going to support 50,000 pound trucks. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay. So anything for me? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, can you maybe answer a question for me, though? Ed sent me an email yeah, about those right. quans. That, yeah, to my home email, though. Right. Tell him to use my I can, email. Yeah, I can answer okay. that. Legally, or at, per state standards, anything that's on the grounds, they can, like the tires should be out of cover mm -hmm. because they get filled with water and bred mosquitoes. Right. Mm -hmm. So, we were talking about probably putting the corns inside over that area to store the tires and, and probably the appliances or whatever. The, the appliances, they don't have to be covered. Uh -huh. and, when the, and then when we start into the recycling of all the materials, you're going to want a building over that to keep the snow out of the dumps, out of the bins, so when you start bailing it. It's not something that has to happen this year. You know, it's something we can do in a house. We can build a building over that. And you're just looking at, you know, going to probably need some money in the, either with the CIP or in a budget to uh, put those buildings up. Well, how much were you anticipating? Well, probably, oh. The cost of putting a building over the recycling bins and stuff would probably be about $12,000. Yeah. So it would need to be in the CIP. Okay. So his purpose was sending it to him because the CIP then? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. If you want to add it to the CIP okay. budget. And then, and the, and the quantity you're looking at, that's a separate building away from everything. Uh, we can either do that or get a dumpster and build a roof over the top of the dumpster and keep the ties in the dumpster, which would solve, serve the same purpose. We can just uh, we still have some steel left that we took from the old trench, the old highway barn that we could probably do that with the dumpster ourselves. Okay. And then just keep the ties in the cover, keep the water out of them, and you know we it, we'll have extra dumpsters, especially when we start doing it for the bailing and stuff. That sounds okay. preferable to uh, yeah. yeah. So another option. At least but that's yeah. another option. And I'm going to ask you another CIP question. On the, um, do you have a CIP handy? I'm sure it's in there. I don't know if it's handy, but um, I guarantee it's not handy. It's I got it. Nothing. I got it. Been watching it so under the transfer on. station, it has replacement of MSW compactor. That's done, right? Or is that additional that That's you need? That's put further down the road in case you need Okay, so that is something you wanted to maintain there. And then the replace, because it yeah. had 2013 for 19000 and then replace MSW Compactor for 2017 for 19000 we, we don't need both of them on there, right? One of them's been, one's brand new. That's, that you don't have to worry about. The other, and it's, it, basically it's only going to be if they rot out or anything like that. Right now you're in, you know. So I'm going to take one of them off. Is that our... You still own the equipment, so eventually it's going to have to be in a CIP, whether it's now or 10, 15 years down No, 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 but we have the same thing on there twice. That's the, what I'm Those are the two. dates they went and served. Oh, those are those are two different two ones. Different ones. We have oh, on I side see. now. Oh, so we have okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're going to leave them on, and we're going to fund for and years. Down the road, correct. That's, that's what I was looking for. Thank and you. And then you're going to have to add the bailer with it, you know, future. Okay. All right. 
but the the priorities are way out there. It's not next week. Right? Is it next year? No. Is, are we five years? I need a date. I need something to put there to aim for. We can what adjust did, it. What do they have on there? Nothing. There's nothing. No. no, no. That's what I'm saying. I well, two thousand. Uh, no, wait. One sorry. Two thousand thirty-three, and the other one doesn't have anything. Okay. So. Boom. Thirty-three. I don't think you worry about it too much for that. For all right. I'll, I'll make. I mean it. Okay. Unless the dumpster is brought up, then it's we don't need it. Right. Okay. All right. And then dumpsters, it and probably wouldn't even be a CIP issue. You know, it'd probably be if I don't know what it costs for a dumpster. Well, that's nineteen. But if probably twenty or something. Yeah. Once you. That. Okay. All right. Very good. And then the baler. What is the value of a, a, a new baler? New baler, you're going to be spending ninety to hundred thousand dollars. Say that again. You'd be spending ninety to hundred thousand at least, depending on the size bill you buy. Okay. For brand new, yeah. Okay. Thank All right. You. There is one thing I want to bring up, and I know it comes up in a lot of towns, is contracting plowing. And uh -huh. the figures of contracting plowing right now is about four to five thousand dollars a uh, road mile, a lane mile. So you're looking at 170,000 for Rollinson alone if you decide to go contract the services. Just to give you a heads up. Per, you know, per season. season. Per season. Per season. That's, that's not count. You start to buy your salt and sand and, you know. So you're looking at a pretty hefty number. Can you say that number again? It's about 170,000. What was the per mile? It's a four to five thousand dollar per lane mile. Per lane mile. For the year. So we made all the roads one way. Plow that strip, you'll be fine, Miles. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I know it comes up in a lot of places, and it's, you know, especially when you start talking replacing equipment and stuff like that. I mean, we have a highway department that has all the equipment, so I know it's probably not even an issue, but it's just something I thought we wouldn't hurt to bring up. Okay, any other questions? Thanks, George. Police, Chief, come on up. For once, I went in alphabetical order, Chief, and I think actually you were here first, so I feel bad. But, uh, Not a problem. Anyway, one purchase order for number 1474 to Ben's uniforms for one duty belt for myself. I had an uh, issue with a duty belt over the weekend. Uh, it was not uh, one pair of leather gloves uh, for Officer Di Pasquale and one long sleeve traffic day glow shirt uh, for Officer Di Pasquale for $220. And that will come out of the uniforms again. I will move purchase order 1474 in the amount of $220 to Ben's uniforms for uh, duty belt, leather gloves, and uh, a shirt. Second. Moving and second. Any discussion? All, right, all those in favor of purchase order 1474 say aye. 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 Opposed? to us uh, this year. Um, one of them is really uh, drug related uh, and all the stuff that goes along with that over on Oak Street. Mm -hmm. So I know uh, on occasion in the past uh, there has been some talk about some type of a nuisance ordinance in town geared toward the apartments and landlords as opposed to the actual people who were actually uh, living in the apartment. So um, I read the Farmington one and it looked pretty uh, comprehensive and uh, I said, well, yeah, I'll submit that. And at least get the discussion going and uh... okay um, that might be something you want to um, talk to Mr. Clark about because yeah. it may um, I 
wonder how it would work, or if it even would work with our um, minimum housing standards. I know I, I, I didn't read the entire ordinance thoroughly for Farmington, but I did talk about some of the um, issues that are covered in there, like the garbage and that sort of thing. Um, it may not cover it, but he may have, um, I don't know if Dover has one, but um, if, they did, if they do, he would have, certainly have the experience with how it, uh, how it actually worked and how it was uh, created and all that, so we can... I would, I would, I would start with him if that's. Uh, oh yeah, I, I actually uh, sent it to him as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember if he was CC'd or not, yeah. but he would. Um, we we're just gonna ask him to take a look at it anyway, <laughs> and to talk to you about it. So, <laughs> cut us out. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think there's. I, I'm always willing to look at um and have a discussion about it. And we can have. Um, yeah, like I said, we'll have Mr. Clark look at it, and then. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, yeah, no, I didn't see what people think, so I'm yeah. going to oppose to it. Now, I, mean, I did have some concerns, I mean, but I haven't read the entire thing yet, so I, I have some concerns about uh, the landlords needing to register with the police as well, because they're already supposed to be registered with the town. There could be deficiencies there. Maybe they're not all doing that. I don't know. Right. I mean, but, so, um, I mean certainly we can look at that piece by piece, and if they are registered with the town, then certainly we can get the list from, from the town clerk's office. So. It sounds like there's two particular pieces of property that you know of. Yes. Well, I guess. Specifically, um, yeah, yes. So, and I could think of one other one, but they weren't landlords. They owned, well, owned it, um, um, and kind of, um, years ago now. But, all right. So, something we can look into? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we'll wait to hear back from you after having conversations with Tom. Sure. And see, yeah. um, his thoughts. So. County Dispatch. Yes. Um, I can't, now I, I wrote it down. I'm trying to remember what the question was. I want to. Yes. I wanted to know if that the dollar amount was the right dollar amount. There was that, but there was something else too that jogged my memory. So we have currently, uh, we're trying to finish your budget tonight. Um, there's ten thousand for county dispatch. We're 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 happy with that number. We think that's gonna that's gonna be the right number. I know you had said that. Um, we used to get like a two or three percent discount, and then they would just uh, the chiefs are saying just leave it on so they can upgrade certain things. Or right, they were sending a bill, but that bill included a five percent discount every year. Five percent. And you know, the sheriff initially wanted uh, wanted to suggest maybe possibly ten percent increase. I said, well, why send out a bill for ten percent increase but we go five percent decrease? Right. Just, just make it what you want so we can finally get this uh, the system up and running. Right. Uh, just give it. Uh, Update. Now I know what. Right, sorry. Right. The, the chiefs me met uh, with the commissioners last week. Yes. And the commissioners are on board in doing a countywide study of the entire radio system to include highway, police, and fire. Yep. And whatever EMS uh, units are available in the county. So I was going to ask you about that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So currently we have Garrison Hill, but that's just fire, right? And EMS. Do you. Just fire. Just that's, fire? Just, that's just fire. It is just yeah. fire. Okay. That's just fire. Right. Yeah. And they go through Stratford, right? right? We go through Stratford. Right. Yeah. We don't know when I frequency. The sheriff's still. department owns. Right. So I, I'm trying to think of other places where they can even put anything yeah. that would be beneficial for us in this part of the county. Well, Stratford County does have a repeater uh, for a county on one of the towers. On the yeah. Okay. So well, that would make sense yeah. then. Okay. Yeah. But Dover Police just installed a higher antenna. On Garrison Hill, and I know I think okay. at one time the sheriff's department was talking about moving the repeater and the, the county repeater up for that one, moving on to the Dover one, and then saving two dollars at the same time as well. So, yeah, yeah. okay. And I understand that Durham wants to go in with the county now, so to increase the uh, some of these departments are figuring out it doesn't make sense to have your own dispatch. So, uh, well, actually, the sheriff's department does dispatch for Durham, for Durham police and fire. Yes. But Durham managed to sock away tens of thousands of dollars to fix their radio system. Okay. And, you know, uh, everyone said, well, Durham is doing this, Dover is doing this. Why don't we hold on to you? Right. Why don't we all get together and take care of the entire county at okay. once and see if we can fix it for everybody? Instead of, you know, this, this agency doing this, this agency doing this. And there was some other um, conversation over there about pooling resources and buying power. Is that something that we're looking at too? And I, could we get our radios through what, like two ways? Is it? Two ways, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's what the county is, who they're going to buy it from, but yeah. it seems to make sense that if there are 10 departments buying, the buyer buying power is probably a lot better than our yeah. department. Are you used to so. right now? I thought you went yes. someplace in Ossipi. Oh, 
That's fire. That's fire. Fire and dust? <laughs> but now they're back at two way, actually. Right. So okay. Yeah. Okay. Disagreement in services, I guess, at one time. So, yeah. Okay, well, that was it. That was what John wanted to talk to about whether or not we were going to benefit from that or not. So, I don't think you probably will. Else just this one that, and earlier today I saw that the public notice went off on November 5th hearing for cash towing. Yes. We plan on being here. Please. Uh, because we have literally hundreds of service calls to that business. Okay. So, uh, you know, we can uh, uh, let the board know how many arrests and disturbances and things like that. Uh, I was going to ask you to be here anyways yeah. for other reasons, <laughs> but um, that <laughs> sounds good too. Well, we will be here for that. All right, so. thank you. And you'll have an officer here for the entire hearing? I will. Yes, okay. I'll make sure of that. Thank you. <laughs> Are we going to keep an eye on the, the front of this building a little often or something? I called the police on last Saturday. Was it last Saturday we were here? Every Saturday seems like we're here. Um, <laughs> they were climbing up from the back. I told them to get off of there. Got the look of death. And, yeah. and so Kids. I was like, okay, I'm going to take care of that. And I, I called and asked them to go check it out. I didn't ask for a, week, a call back. But, I mean, it's, it's dangerous, one, because in good shape and one of these days someone's going to hit it just the wrong way. Right. Yeah. I don't I don't know how to solve it but it certainly is a I have asked for years to, first of all the bus stop be moved. Where we moved? The this is I saw it on there yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a place of business. You know, cars are coming and going. Mm -hmm. Kids should not be here. Parents should not be here waiting for years. It needs to be someplace else. Mm -hmm. um, but to answer your, your original question you know, when we're here we see the kids climbing over the building you know, we try to shoot them like mm -hmm. we catch them. Um, but the, you know, 99 percent of the time, you know, the guys are on the street, so we don't catch a lot of it. You know, I know uh, one time I happened to be pulling in, and uh, I happened to get my mail, <laughs> and saw the same thing you saw, but yeah, really get dragged so, and yanked out of the out of the, the, yeah. the step. It's just way, concerning because so. I mean, you look and there's yeah. holes all over these things, and someone gets that just right. Yeah, someone's going to get hurt. I, I've gone up several times on the stuff. bus stop and told the kids to stay out of the garden area because we've had to replace those yeah. little lights. No, half a dozen times now because they walk in there, especially in the wintertime. You can't see them, so they step on the snow and yeah. it breaks on them and everything else. So. The most disappointing day I had was when there was a parent there and the stuff was going on. Yeah. And yeah. they said to the kids, you know, you got to stop. Oblivious. And the parent said it was oblivious, exactly. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if we did ask the, the school board to move the bus stop, do you have, as the head of um, public safety in the town, any suggestions where they may go? In a nice way. <laughs> a serious way, right, we're, we're, we're a better location to drop the kids off. Probably a better way to ask that question. But. You know, I'm just wondering if maybe downtown someplace on Front Street. But, you know, if you look at the parking lots there, traffic's kind of going. Yeah. It's a one way, so it might make it difficult for the bus. Yeah. But in the wintertime. We're thinking, you know, it's a school board's decision, but right. we thought. Um, Perhaps the mill park, upper mill parking lot, which in the morning makes sense, but in the afternoon it's really busy there. So I, mean, I don't know, because it's also property. Right road, though, too. That yeah, road. and you know that's kind of tight if you have a car here and, and yeah, people park especially in the when when mm -hmm. Salt Street narrows. Yeah, you know before they get to go back. Yeah. So I don't know, so. But um, I think we need to do. I'm something. gung ho for for the change to happen, but every time we have a conversation, I sort of slink back and go, so where do they go? I mean, that's yeah. the. We thought of the church, but then they got to cross the railroad tracks, so that's not a. And all the, yeah, I mean the bus has to cross, and the kids will have to go. Yeah. And if they're kicking columns trying to knock down the town hall, they're probably not going to use the sidewalk or crossing. Right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Well, just send the proposal to the school board. And I'll let them know to, that we have. Because um, they can always. Uh, well, they can always pay to have one of your officers stand there too, in the morning. Maybe so. Yeah. I mean, that's a, we did our first crossing guard. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're on the move. <laughs> now we're going to have a crossing guard. Anyways, but so. It's a thought. Yeah. We'll just have to see what we can do. Well, we appreciate your um, your, uh, your input on the fifth. Um, I meant to talk to you about that. So. Mm -hmm. But for other reasons. Yes. But, that's all I have for you folks. I'm awesome. Anything for the chief? Good. All right. Well, have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welfare? Hi there. Welfare. We need a motion? A motion for non public. A motion for non public to go into welfare. Uh, welfare for the second. English. Second. Okay. We've had a motion and a second. Um, we're in a non public session to hear welfare questions. Roll call, Denise? Yes. 
Files? Yes. Mike? Yes. We are not public session. We are welcome. Your discretion. Just Alrighty, are we back? Yes, All right. It was at uh, 835. 835, we came back on it. So, case number... Case number 2018-009, the select board is recommending up to $600 in welfare assistance. Is there a motion? Motion. Second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okie dokie. I'm going to try to get through this remaining budget. budget. <laughs> remaining portion of the agenda as quickly as possible, if you don't mind, because my head is throbbing. So. Alrighty, so our, under town administration, we have our um, bookkeeper clerical support posting. We recall, we a couple of weeks ago, we discussed everything we only last week. Um, it, it was two Saturdays ago. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Two Saturdays ago. Um, Finding a part-time person to come in and do some bookkeeping clerical to uh, bolster um, the work that um, uh, Caroline's already doing. But we never officially voted to uh, post it. So she's working on the posting. So I would like a motion to, uh, to post that open position. And then we can... Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't we, we... Did we set a rate yet? I'm trying to remember. It's right here. 16. 16. No. It's right in front of me. I have a copy of it myself. Yep. Thank you. I'm, I'm, done the job I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so, so it's um, we we have the the um, the job description, um, the ad. So it was for sixteen dollars an hour. Was there any uh, anything that needed to be added or taken out of the ad? No, I thought it looked good. Yep. You're okay with it. So let's do a motion to uh, to post this, and uh, we will vote, and then we'll move on. I'll make a motion to post the bookkeeper administrative support position. Um, now. I'll second. Okay. So just so we're clear as well, this this um, the understanding will be that this um, this will be up until um, town meeting. So yeah, it says uh, just want to temporary to permanent basis. Right. It's a temporary so until town meeting. We're just trying to be fair to whoever yeah. if whoever applies, yeah. just so they understand that yeah. it's not necessarily a, a permanent position. So okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, we'll post the position. All right, budget. So we've been working on our um, on our um, on our budget. We, um, as part of um, the uh, the budget planning, we we had uh, agreed through the, the budget workshop that we wanted to uh, go with the A B twenty plan. Um, but we, what I'd like to do is have an official vote that we're going to switch to that, uh, so we can um, notify the employees. I, mean, I know Caroline said, you know, the, so we let her know so that she can actually let um, Health Trust know so they can bring someone over, explain to the employees what the changes may be within that new plan. And um, it seems to be pretty minimal changes, but there is, there will be some cost sharing changes for the employees, um, which they should. Be able to have explained to them. So I'd like a, a motion, please, to um, to accept those changes, change in plan, and uh, so we can notify the employees. Uh, I'll move that um, <coughs> we change the health insurance um, to the AB20 plan under Access Blue New England HMO. I'll second. For 2019. For 2019. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? I will, as soon as the vote is over, I will let, uh, well, I will let Caroline know tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So she can let the employees know. All right, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye opposed. All right, so we're officially a switching for plan year 2019 um, town health insurance. All right. Uh, a few uh, weeks ago now, um, we had shared with you all a, um, an email that we're hoping to send out to the town explaining um, the, 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 um, the need and the desire.
desire just to um, bring on a town administrator born out of the uh, committee that, that was um, uh, conducting research over the last several months, uh, chaired by Lorraine Hansen. Um, did you all have a chance to take a look at that? And did you have any changes you wanted to add? It's okay if you're not ready tonight, but I just want to get it back on your radar. Yes. So if, you, if there are changes that you want to make, let's get them changed so we can get this out. So, so, so your plan is to send this out on the town email? Yes, yeah, so I'd like to do it via email, and then we can. Um, um, there was going to be a much abbreviated version um, going out uh, via the newsletter. Okay. Um, yeah, I I did read through it. Um, I wouldn't mind just having an, an, maybe another week to just. To still okay. Another week yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay, we're going to table it then. Okay. But we are going to take it up hopefully for next week. Yeah. All right. Thank you. In the newsletter. As part of the conversation, how um, how are we coming along, Salome, with the info from uh, folks that you need from besides me? No. Not very well. Okay. <clears throat> I will work on it. Okay. Is there anything that you need from us to help expedite the process? No, I'm planning on one full side being about the town administrator. Okay. Well, it won't be. The, I don't think we'll need the whole the whole half. Maybe half a page. And then we can do part of it um, recycling. Well, we have some issues around well we're going to have SP2 yeah. and those changes yeah. and the calendar to go with that and okay. recycling. Oh, it's all on one side, you think? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. all right. It, so it isn't, It's not going to take up that much space. Okay, so. So I just assume. All right, well, we're going to, obviously, we're going to um, perhaps change it around some more, too, but. Yeah. And I want to look at it. Well, what is the, the date that it should be? Cool. Well, we have to have, tax rate. I'd say a good five days before the tax break, tax bills go up. So we're waiting on um, information from the school and the water and sewer district before the tax rate can be set. So I thought they were all set. It may be, that's what we had been waiting on. The town has all their stuff in. So in case anyone's wondering why we haven't gotten it yet. so. Now we're at the, if they've gotten their information in, then we're at the mercy of the state. So yes, that's, that was happens. my understanding today. Okay, so hopefully we get it back soon so we can get this taken care of. So yeah. your your time period that you said, it, um, if I can get my family day uh, date confirmed, can I put it in there even though it's beyond what you're talking about? Oh, period? yes, Okay, please. all right, please. I will see if I can get yes. that. Yes, okay. give me that day. All right, thank you. Anything else to say? About well, that? no, actually, that, it, that doesn't matter because that's a September day. Yeah, but, but you just cut off as early as that. I know, but this calendar only goes through May. Yeah, so when we do the June tax bills. You want me to do the we'll family do day that. then? So we'll do another newsletter yeah. then. Too. Okay, okay, so no. Yeah, okay. you're off the hook now. I'm the off the hook. Salmon Falls Quarterly, isn't that what the kids call it? It comes out okay. twice a year, so it's not quite quarterly. <laughs> Although I could do Light Up the Town. Because that's yeah. December. I will do yes. that. Yes. Didn't get enough. Yes. Okay. Anything from Hold December All right. through May. Okay, December got through it. May. And any other um, updates or questions or comments about the newsletter? Mm -mm. We're going to suspend the uh, the agenda for a moment and let the fire chief just come to back. Give you, he's come back for a reason. Yeah, just to give you a final update on the uh, Lavin. Oh, okay. I had a discussion with Christine Lavin yeah. just a little bit ago. Yeah. Well, let's go back one step. We got the fire truck in there, we drafted everything's all good. We can do that. That's fine. Oh, good. Okay, that's good. Enough. But I wanted to update her on what our outcome was, and she actually told me they have no maintenance records. They've never done anything to that. That's over 30 years. Yeah. And it's been hit numerous times by a plow truck and or people backing in and out. So that's why you can take it and just about steer it like that. Oh, my. Okay. So pretty much it's where it goes in, that elbow is probably good that's and broken. So the thing is basically rendered useless until it gets repaired. Okay. And then, and that's and, and that's bad in a lot of ways because I mean the fire pond's there and we can use it, but if it's February and there's 18 inches of ice and he right. plows all the snow down there, it's not a practical right. resource for us during the winter months. So it almost renders the thing useless, useless yeah. for that amount of time, unless okay. unless that standpipe is to be repaired because it's in a nice paved area, it sits in a nice spot. Okay. These ways driveways we can loop trucks right around. It's perfect. It's <laughs> okay. If, if it was to be repaired and utilized, but as far as that affecting his abatement, 
okay. those issues just really don't apply. Okay. Well, we'll let the uh, assessor know. Yeah. That. That's good yeah. to know. Thank you. Is that spring fed? It, will it refill itself if you have There, is, there is a small yeah, spring a small that spring does lead okay. into it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's not very deep mm -hmm. um, from what we can see. Maybe much. Yeah, I, I don't know. We might, you know, we might be able to get, you know, six or eight trips, ten trips through mm -hmm. there, you know. I don't think it recharges very fast, but uh, yeah. we could utilize it initially for a, for a water source. Remember catching frogs there. <laughs> you see, when it was you first put in, you know, before, I mean, there wasn't any houses there. There wasn't houses on either side. Well, he's got a little and paddle that, boat, and he's got fishing poles out yeah, there. Right. And it wasn't very deep, is my point. I mean, right. Was, he's got a little floating, the middle, but floating uh, fountain thing in the middle of it, and a little bit. So, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think it's, you could probably walk across it, I, mean, I would imagine. I don't know. I never tried, but. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you that final update so that's not dragging on. So, okay. that's the way I came. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming back. I appreciate you for it. For giving me a minute. Well, in fact, the next thing on the agenda was fire upon a baby, which we were tabling anyways. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just, go. I was just going to say we're going to give the update that you gave earlier, but now we'll give this one too to the assessor. Yeah. So that's what that's what we're going to table that too, if that's okay right yeah, now. And like I said, I got the exact quote from the homeowner that that's been hit numerous times and there's never been any maintenance. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great night, Mark. So no right? Well, so, back up a little bit. So, there's a two-part to this abatement. There's the fire pond piece, and then there's a, a smaller piece that um, Avatar believes they missed the first time around, and they were going to recommend a, a, a modest uh, abatement. It was mostly all the fire pond, so we'll give him that information. And he was supposed to give us a, a recommendation in writing. We haven't received it yet, so. But they're utilizing the pond other than the fire pond. Yeah, that's what I just heard. Yeah, so... It's uh, we're going to pass all the information on yeah. the avatar. Yeah, okay, so. very good. I mean, it's, yeah, it okay. will be what it is, I guess. Uh, the bus stop, do we want to take an action tonight, or do we want to think about it some more? I mean, I, I appreciate what, what the police chief had to say. So. Do we want to at least approach the school board to see if they would put it on their radar? Because it isn't really our responsibility, yeah. no, it's as not. much as we don't want them damaging the building. Right. But I mean, I can reach out to the chair of the school yeah. board if you'd like, and I'll see so you all... Yep. Obviously, yeah. Um, I think that's the logical next step. Yeah. Yeah. And just ask, let them know that there's been some complaints that we've we've had some and concern. some incidents, and yeah. we have a lot of the select board has concerns. Yeah. Uh, I'll let her know. Oh, we, obviously, you'll be CC to okay. see it. So. Chair. Okay, recreation. The snack refund. Yeah. That was a great snack refund. Well, I uh, talked to sorry, I mean, I emailed um, the two chairs, and it got off their radar, and they're back on it. Okay. So well, they're on it. They, they are Because the auditor's going to be really on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. They're on it, and they're going to get back to me. All right. Well, select board member activities. We're back now to town administration standing act items. What do we have going on this week besides? Uh, I have a budget committee meeting Wednesday. Um, that's all. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. That's rec. Rec. When is rec. it? Oh, rec. Oh, I have rec tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. How soon we forget. <laughs> I have rec tomorrow, and I. You almost got out of it. Budget on Wednesday, right, guys? It's Wednesday. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the only thing I have is um, our next budget workshop on Saturday. This Saturday? Oh, we don't have one Saturday. It's not this Saturday. We weren't available. Yep, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to come in, but uh, I'm okay that we're not. But So oh, it's not this Saturday, right? Okay, so good. Thank you. Yeah. we got nothing on. It's, uh, we do have one on the third, right? Yes. So just a reminder, when we have um, a budget workshop again on um, next, um, next Monday, what I intend to do. Yeah, why does it sound like that? Um, my intention is to start at 6. Um, we have some students coming in um, from the University of New Hampshire, oh, yeah. all, and so I was having them come in at 6.30. Their presentation will probably last about yep. 10 minutes. Yep. So we'll open the meeting, we'll let them do their presentation, and then I'd like to go back into the workshop yep. a little bit, okay. like we did tonight, until about 7.30, and then um, we start the meeting again. So, 
and if we can keep the um, agendas relatively brief, I think we'll, we'll be out of, out of here in a decent hour. So. And then we have on, so that's the 29th, um, and then the, the 3rd of November we have the, um, the budget workshop, of course, at Town Hall, okay. right here at 9 a.m. Delirious this morning. The uh, Historical Committee, as you may have seen, has um, some pretty cool note cards for sale. Um, we've sold quite a few now, right? Like 29, as far as 29 packages, what did we get, 50 of them? Uh, or 60? I don't like know, I, was that. I don't remember to be honest, but the sales have been very healthy so far, so that's a good thing. Um, so if you haven't seen them, there's a poster, I think, or a flyer out. I, have some in there. But oh. I haven't bought any myself yet, but... Um, um, yeah, I got oh, two packs. So, yeah. so you have some. The um, this one. Is we you have get the, the only one. Kevin. Kevin. We have um, we have um, we had a lot of interest. We put out a call to uh, to residents of submit photos, mm -hmm. um, and we had a lot of people that that um, submitted. Uh, then the the chair and myself found ourselves in the very. Um, awkward position of having spouses that submitted photos. So um, we left it to Kristen Palico to pick the picture. So if anyone thinks we anyone had the end, we didn't um, we didn't participate. So but uh, I think they turned out great. They looked really nice. So um, anyways, yeah, so I don't what I was leading up to, I'm gonna ask you Celia because I, I can't think. When are we meeting we're not meeting this week, right? November seventh. November seventh, I know it's just after the election. We were going to meet on the 24th, but my anniversary is going up at dinner, so I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so I don't know. Okay. I'll be here tomorrow doing a debrief with Caroline. Talking to Tom Clark several times or whatever else I can do. So, Miles, did you want to add anything? How did, how did that result in, um, on Lucas, uh, Lucas Street, Prospect Street? The trail. The trail. It, I mean, it's oh, clear as day. I don't know. In fact, I drove by it this morning after I dropped off a little bit. Is it still there? It's still there, yeah. Okay. And the, it doesn't look like, though, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to leave it to Tom. Okay. I, I've got to, I'll follow up with Tom tomorrow okay. about it. But um, there's still the dish out front. Yeah. yeah. There's a picnic table, maybe. Yeah. And chairs. Yeah, there. I know. A little dog um, cage you thing, you know, run thing. You know, a little. Tony said he couldn't. On Prospect Street, there's a, a camper. Camper. Uh, right. In someone's side yard that they're clearly living in. Although it, it, there wasn't any activity this morning. And every other time I've gone by, there were like lights on or something. Well, there was lights on. As soon as he said he couldn't find it, I went back and, and it yeah. was lit up um, and it was maybe I'll drive by dusk and, and, you know, and I was like, but it's still there. Um, so it is there. Okay. I'll follow up with you. Okay. I'll make a note. Um, I don't know. We did have that complaint, so we definitely want to mm -hmm. follow up on it. Permit number 2018-102, uh, 
593 no, Silver, 593 Street. Silver Street. Um, value is 7500 so the fee is 105 and been reviewed by Tom Clark. Don't forget you have to mark approved. Oh, I have. Okay. 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 Permit number 2018-101, 593 Silver Street. Um, value is $8,000 and the fee is $105 and it's been reviewed by Tom Clark. Permit number 2018-100, 474 Stockdale Circle. Uh, permit is for $2,400. The fee is $55, and Tom Clark has approved. Permit number 2018-096, 474 Stockdale Circle. Value was two. Two thousand. Well, that he changed the value. So. Tom did. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the, the value is two thousand dollars, and the fee is ninety. And Tom has. Now this is a, an example of why. So they were trying to save it only six hundred dollars, and Sid Clark reviewed and said no, it's more like two thousand dollars. So it's a ninety dollar fee. So because they're not attaching the quote or anything, is that why he can do that? But if they had a quote, could he do that? Well, maybe. Yeah. I mean, if they, yeah. But yes, he could, but okay. he, um... But if you don't have anything attached, it's, yeah. He, you know, the one advantage to having someone like Tom doing this is that he knows um, mm -hmm. the value of some of the services they may be trying to do, like, so it's moving wiring to a comrade, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So he would know what realistically that should mm -hmm. be, so mm -hmm. he knows. Permit 2018-099. 474 Stockdale Circle. Value is $3,000. The fee is $90, and Tom has approved. This is something you guys did last week that you need me to sign. Because you saw. Oh, is, the town, is that the town warrant? Or the burial Indeed, plots? Burial yeah. Okay. So I just have to sign it right because I already yes, it's it. Already been approved. Do you want me to do my PO that I have in here? Yeah. Please. Okay. I have. No, she doesn't say. Oh. Purchase order one five five one. I think it's supposed to be mailways. In. Yeah, it should be okay. okay. Um, estimated postage second issue tax bills for four hundred and fifty dollars. I'm assuming this is for from uh, Andrea. Uh, second. Okay, so it's going to. Incorporated, and it's to cover the uh, the estimated postage for the uh, the second tax bills that will be going out hopefully soon. Um, okay, so so I moved and seconded. All in favor of purchase order fifteen fifty one say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. You got the dollar amount on that, right? Four fifty. Mm -hmm. Attending 
was sort of one of the farmers markets several years ago. It's never been an issue before. It doesn't have to do with anyone at the farmers market. Sue, thank you very much. Um, permit to open an obstruct street. There's a note on this that says. Okay. This was approved long ago and we received the funding for the sign. Um, so. Um, it's on Spruce Mechanic Street. Is that what you did not? Yeah. No, it's, no, it's the Chinberg one. But. Oh. It's to extend the water line. This was approved long ago and we received the funds, please. Okay, so we were waiting on, um, on, um, they have to, they have to pay a certain amount. They have to, um, uh, the words escaping me. They have to, uh, not a retainer, but they have to, they have to have uh, a bond of X amount of dollars. Yeah. And then once the, it's been repaved over and it's settled, there's no settling or anything, then they get their money back. So, anyways. All right, so is there any, any objection to signing this then? No. No. All right. Said that was spruce and prospect. Spruce and mechanic. mechanic. Extend water line 165 feet, increase size to two inches for lot one and two per proposed plans. Extend the sewer line 130 feet on Mechanic Street to Spruce Street to service lot one and two of proposed plans. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, this is a letter regarding our um, junkyard. Uh, a letter from the Department of Employment and Services. Um, it's a follow-up on requested corrective actions, and so it shows the dates that they found them non-compliant. And on October 12, 2018, you provided evidence slash documentation of proper removal of antifreeze and cleanup of solid waste from the property. Thank you. Okay. That's good. Um, it's not an action signature needed. So what, um, can I just take a note, please? I want, I, we, we have a, fo a file on, um, yeah. on the junkyard, um, so we'll have it on file for, for the fifth when they come before us, so, um, for disbursement um, for $1,000 to the homemakers oh, of Strapper County. As you recall, we kind of put those on hold until we found mm -hmm. out. Um, but they, as Carolyn stated, they, um, they, they are requesting this. So they sent, uh, they sent an email saying that it still should be made up to the homemakers yeah. and not um, uh, uh, East of Seals. East of Seals, so mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Is there any objection to nope. signing? No. Oh, you know what? Um, it's a disbursement for um, for general assistance. Well, we only have a motion. Then, Mal, do you want to? Sure. So I move um, dispersing the one thousand dollars to the homemakers. It's called Homemakers Health Services, actually. Um, details, details. Okay. Uh, in the amount of one thousand. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Homemakers Health Services. Oh, it's on there. Okay. Homemakers Home Services. Yep. Homemakers Health Service. It's on. Okay. So, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed? All right. And this was a budgeted, um, uh, a budgeted uh, piece of general assistance in homemakers. So, we're on the same page. My folder's empty. All right. That one's empty. That sounds good to me. Any other community input for this evening? No? All righty. Well, we thank you all for coming, and uh, we will see you all next week. And we are adjourned until 6 p.m. on next Monday. Thank you. Oh.